Og versus M4. Which one is better? Comparison and evaluation, PUBG. This is a wacky Jackie video. Let's check it out. I'm interested to see what it is. Before we even start, okay, I'm going to say um, I haven't watched this video, first of all, because personally, I like to find out, you know, I, I like to discover things myself because um, I don't want any bias, some exterior bias or something. And it's going to get into my head and get into my mental and make me think, Oh, this person did this diagnostic and says that it's, you know, better or worse. People have been telling me this about the shotgun for a long time. Like, you know, oh, Wacky did a video about the shotgun. Bob says the duck bill's better. It's like, well, I personally like the choke, man. I don't know, dude. So I'm going to say I like the AUG right now. I'm interested to see what Wacky says. Welcome guys, the AUG has been a well spawn for a couple of weeks now and surely we've seen it become quite a big part of the meta, meaning that a lot of people are using it. But is it yep. really that much better than the M4? I think it is. Or is it better at all? I think Let's it is. Out. So in order to find out which one is actually better, we have to break it up into two parts. Number one is the lethality, which means how quick can the weapon kill? Okay, how quick can the weapon kill? Damage, bullet velocity, time to kill. So this right here is what? This is for the one of those ARs, right? Now, if it if it was an SMG, all of these around the toes and the feet and the fingertips and all that stuff would be massive. It would be about as high as it could be. Damage, time to kill, all that kind of stuff. And then we also have to look at the handling, which is the recoil, single fire performance, and all that kind of stuff. And then, of course, we have the stuff in the back, such as reload speed, for instance. But let's jump right into this comparison, which is quite easy since both are 5.56 assault rifles. The damage of the M4 is one less than the AUG, and also the AUG has a faster rate of fire. Obviously, this makes it kill faster, but how much faster is actually quite a surprise. Okay, so this is what the the amount that it reduces, or like uh, level one gear, how much level one gear reduces the damage given by these particular weapons. So it looks like the AUG would do more damage. Isn't that just usually the trigger of what determines a weapon being better? What does the most damage? That's why the barrel is the fastest, right? The barrel's the best, right? Time to kill. Prize. The AUG will kill about 20-ish milliseconds faster than the M4 versus Whoa. a level 1 geared player. And against a level 2 geared player, that's about the same. And the same goes against level 3, except on that upper chest part where the AUG does have an advantage. It's also important to... Wait, did he say the M4 kills faster? Or the AUG kills faster? By 20 milliseconds, chat. Think of all you can do with 20 milliseconds. Well, the AUG is faster. That's what I thought. Okay, he said the AUG is faster... But then he said it with the exception of the upper chest, which the AUG does even more damage. Okay. But think of the point is, chat, think of all the things you could do with your life with that extra 20 milliseconds, you know? Understand all the loot I could get. Images that this is against a full health player. So you will have other situations where the AUG will kill 80 milliseconds faster. And that is really the max time to kill difference, 80 milliseconds. That does bring the AUG ahead, so the AUG does kill faster. But is this enough to make it worth picking up? Another important aspect of lethality in PUBG is bullet velocity, because in a situation where both players fires a lethal bullet, the bullet that hits first will get the kill, okay. and the other yep. bullet no will trades. get its damage cancelled. That's because PUBG does not allow trading with projectiles, and the AUG has been known for <laughs> ages for its crazy fast bullet velocity. But as the AUG entered the world spawning weapon pool, the weapon got its bullet velocity reduced, so now it's 
basically the same as but the still M4, faster. however, still... very slightly faster. The M4 is at 880 meters per second initial bullet velocity, and the August is 10 more at 890. This will make situations where this will matter extremely rare. When it comes to handling, I'm going to start off doing my regular spray test on a wall. And I'm not going to bore you guys with how this works because I'm pretty sure you already know. So let's just jump straight to the results. All right, yeah, results. And in this test, we can see that the overall vertical recoil is basically the same for both weapons. But what this test doesn't actually show is that the first bullet recoil of the AUG is a little bit higher. That means it's a little bit more difficult to control the AUG at the initial spray. What we can also see here is that the AUG does actually not just always perform as a laser vertical spray. It can also have quite a bit of horizontal recoil. And I have experienced the AUG that. often feels very shaky. It does seem to me that the gun has a load of screen shake, which I haven't really been able to properly show in a side by side comparison. So I'm okay. going that well, kind of just an over. expert opinion. But what I can show is a new and very interesting test that tells us a bit about the tapping performance, meaning when you fire in single fire, and also gives us the data we need on the first bullet recoil, which is higher on the AUG. The way I do this test is by shooting at a fixed point. Then I map out the curve at which the reticle moves the entire path, where it starts and where it ends. And here we can get a great idea of how the gun performs when you fire it in single fire. And the result is very interesting because firing 10 shots like this reveals that the AUG does indeed have much higher vertical recoil on that single fire. It okay. also reveals- Okay. This will explain, chat, why I like using the vert grip on the AUG, but the half grip on the M4. The vert grip still, even after the nerf, has the highest reduction of vertical recoil, but, you know, it, with, with it having a higher recoil, that would make sense. The M4 has less, so I like the half grip on the M4, you know, because then it's a little bit more horizontal that the AUG tends to have less horizontal recoil on that first bullet. But I'd say that this right here makes the M4 a better single fire weapon. And it's also why the AUG kicks more when you start a spray. Okay. Oh, who's using the M4 for single, right? I mean, maybe. Cindermeister, thanks for the prime for seven months. Single fire? I mean, maybe rare, ca rare cases where like, you know, maybe you rip someone and then you switch to your M4 or AUG and you put the 4X scope under something and you start tapping, right? Maybe. Like, that's why I got a DMR, man. Come on. In an ADS speed comparison, meaning how quick you can aim down sight, the M4 does win because it can take a tactical stock. However, the difference is only uh. about three milliseconds. So basically it doesn't matter. Three millisecond chat. We've been talking about this. How much time you can save, right? I mean, when you, if, in all seriousness, though, if you think about it, right? What did we say the other one was? Was it 20 milliseconds? Or what? That the AUG kills faster than the M4? Was it 20 milliseconds? Okay, so there's a 17 millisecond advantage still to the AUG. Why do I say that? Because if you can ADS faster with the M4, you can shoot faster, right? I don't know. What do I know, chat? I suck at math. But what does matter is the reload speed comparison because the AUG can reload 300 milliseconds faster than the M4. This outrageously slow reload speed of the M4 is its biggest Whoa! problem when comparing it to the AUG, in my opinion. Keep in mind that the AUG can kill an entire player while the M4 is still reloading. What? Including on all of this, you have an AUG that can kill faster than an M4, but only just slightly faster. And then you have an M4 that does have better handling and doesn't have that weird, annoying screen shake that goes on with the AUG. But the M4 does reload extremely slow, which is yeah. going to be a big issue for it in close okay. quarters. So they nerfed that a long time ago, Chad. That was one of the biggest 
disappointments to me when they originally nerfed the M4. I think it's when they did that nerf a long time ago. They nerfed the M4 and the M16 at the same time or something like that. And their reload speeds were insane. And they nerfed the damage. So it was like, why did you do a double nerf? Why didn't you just see what happened? Excuse me. Why didn't you just see what happened with like just nerfing the damage? The recoil is huge, or the recoil, the reload speed is huge. Adding all of this up, the AUG is gonna be the better weapon choice when you are fighting in close combat or short mid range. Overall, I would personally pick the M4 still because, what? well, it does have really good performance. Spraying down a car that passes by, I'd rather have an M4. In the end though, really? I have to give the victory to the AUG, but only just slightly. You can very well still use your M416 if that's what you prefer. And there's a good chance that if that's the gun you prefer using, you will very likely also perform better with it. I so I almost wonder, chat, if he still likes the M4 because you've used the M4 for so long, right? You're used to the spray. You're used to how it feels. You're used to how all of that is, right? And since they took the AUG out of the crate and now the AUG is performing differently from when it was in the crate, it, there's, it takes some getting used to. You know what I mean? I'd love to see Wacky do a comparison um, amongst the uh, M4 using all the different grips, right? To identify which one's most consistent, right? And do the same thing with the AUG to find out which one is more consistent with the AUG, right? To say, hey, um, I mean, maybe maybe what I'm saying is right, right? Where, hey, the, the half grip is the best with the M4 and then use the same methodology with the AUG and say, okay, the AUG doesn't perform as well with the half. It performs better with the vert and then do a side-by-side -side test with M4 with the half grip and AUG with the vert grip. Right? A fully loaded comparison. Hope this comparison was helpful. There's guys. an idea, Wacky! There's your video. next video, man! We'll see you guys next time. Oh, thanks, Wacky. All right, awesome. So this, okay. Um, Wacky says the M4 is better. I still prefer the AUG. I'm going to continue using the AUG. I don't think the M4 is a bad weapon, but uh, one thing that I have seen is there are some debates going on right now uh, I've, I've seen it around Twitter and, and whatnot about the pros talking about which is the best AR. And I will say that uh, the ARs in question are the AUG, the barrel, and the ACE. I don't even think the M4 is even in the question when it comes down to the pro scene. So um, we'll see. But uh, I'm going to continue using the AUG. This video is the AUG vs. M4 Wacky Jacky video. We're going to give it a like. Chat, the link to the original video will be down in the description below. Let me know in the comments what you think. Make sure to go over and like Wacky's video. Thanks for watching.